Yeah, Rap Radar Podcast, Elliot Wilson. It's B-Dot. B-Dot winning all this, baby. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come <laughs> on. Come on, man. <laughs> Look, we got to go stereotypical. Honestly, I don't even know how many times I say that shit. Like, I don't even know if I say it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I really, I rarely catch myself saying that like that. Like, but yeah, though, yeah, though, That's yeah, old though, yeah, though, yeah, though, yeah, though. Well, we had sure. to go see currency, man. It's it's yeah. How are you, sir? I'm honored, man. Yeah, I'm absolutely. honored. This is I super I, tight. I don't think I've ever interviewed you. I nah. never have neither. Nah, bro. It's no, 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 no. We made it. And, I, and I'm aware of y'all's work. I'm, I'm aware. So you know, I'm, a, I'm definitely like I'm this is, a, this is on the score. This is me I'm getting on the score. Want me to keep it on you with you? Please lay it on me. I was waiting for you to have a beautiful, light skinned child. Congratulations. Well, you know what? Thank you, but. But every day they say he's gonna change a little oh, yeah, more every day. Oh so, yeah, for sure. So there's no telling what we got. You know what I'm saying? No, congrats, yeah, man. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you. But he, why, he's just, so tight. I mean, we're gonna get deep into music. I mean, because Lord knows you have a lot of music. So Probably. I just think it's interesting how like I feel like you're sharing a lot of the personal side of your life. Like, well, yeah, because I've always like I've always spoken about how much I wanted a kid. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to have like somebody to give some game to and shit like that. So. Yeah. Um, me knowing that everybody who who follow my music, the they are family and friends with me. You know, yeah. I don't really look at it as fans and shit. That's people that really fuck with me. So like, they tell me about what's going on in their life when they come to shows and like, yo, I got a kid on the way or just me and her still together, blah, 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 shit like that. Yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the same way with my shit with what's going on because they paying attention. So I'm like, well shit. Boom, we got it. Here right. he is, you know what I'm saying? Cruise, right? Yeah, Cruise, Cruise he chilling. You said he's <laughs> chilling. Fatherhood's gonna be a breeze. You yeah, took him to the doctor cool, today. Man. Yeah, you okay. we got the today. we got the child seed and the wraith. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cooling, you know what I'm saying? I'm cruising, so I'm stunning, and I'm also getting work done because like you couldn't even tell I had my girl and my baby in the back mm. because they were both you know she want to sit right by him, so it looked like I was just in the road by myself. Yeah. So people pulling on side me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girls trying to keep up with me and shit, and I'm just like, yeah, man, they don't even know. Like I'm on with it. Pediatrician right now, yeah. but yeah, this shit is sweet. Oh, it's six days in though, so yeah, I mean, yeah it's still yeah. early. I'm not getting much sleep, but that don't matter. Yeah. To I, I don't really sleep anyway. Now, right? Yeah, I don't really sleep. So this shit that he doing is aggravating his mama, but not me. It's pretty like, on nah, brand. I'm on it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm already up already. You know? Right. You mentioned the rafe. I saw something where you was kind of a little more serious. You were saying how like you feel like you're the only one really in New Orleans with a rafe. Like, yeah, I think I am. I am like unless I'm like one of the a basketball player or something have it, but just as far as musicians and, and people like people hustling and, and building their own thing, be it a clothing line or whatever, you know, as far as people showing, having some shit yeah. that make these kids realize that they can do the same thing, even though it's material shit, it makes a difference. It's inspiring. Like right. growing up in LA or something, you know, they got Ferrari dealerships and all this shit on the street. Like you just trying to go to the mall and you can see a showroom with that type of shit in it. So you know it exists. It push you to want to do it. Yeah. And out here, it's like, it's one, it's, if you see the Rolls Royce, it's me. Mm. Forget yeah. about it. And that's, that's not even tight. Yeah. Like mm. in Miami and shit, you'll never know. You think you pulling up on Noriega? Yeah. Like, yeah, he got the black <laughs> swing. And you like hitting the horn at him and yeah. it's not even him. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody else who yeah. just who who make beats, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who make who might have made three beats mm. so far. You know what I'm saying? Might have made three fucking beats, but yeah. it's going down in the industry yeah. and they out there riding. So like, this so is the you know, one that's what came with two umbrellas? That, that's the one. Three hundred thousand came, came with two, two umbrellas. umbrellas. Absolutely came with two yeah. umbrellas. I used them the other day. <laughs> and it was my first time, and the weird shit was I had trouble pushing them bitches back in. Uh. See the rap videos, you only see fucking juicy J and shit pushing the button and that motherfucker <laughs> slide out. They never show you fucking French Montana <laughs> right. jamming that motherfucker back in there because it's it's, it's spring loaded, so that See, shit's fighting you. It's hard it's to not do. It's smooth. We in New yeah. York, so it's hard to do in the subway currency. You got first world problems, man. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about this Fetty project, though, Come man. Come on, yeah, me and Freddie Gibbs, man. Let me tell you something. Me and Freddie Gibbs bumped into each other in Chicago two years after we said we were going to do the uh, the tape, and he tells me, Spiller, won't you quit smoking weed so we could get the tape done? Like the weed is what was stopping, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I immediately went to the studio with a copious amount of weed mm. and got all the records done that day. Mm. And I sent them back to him and then I was waiting for him. Oh, the challenge. Absolutely. Challenge. Yeah, I so did. I sent him seven records. I sent him seven records the next day. You don't tell me about quit smoking weed. I smoked weed, I sent seven records to him. I thought you guys did Absolutely. this in two days though. Yeah, two days. Oh, okay. I sent seven that day. 
and he sent back that oh, wow. seven with his verses on it, and he sent me some records. Why was and he I on put your mine on those. I think that he thought the weed had control of me <laughs> for two years, and that's why we hadn't done the tape. And it just was because we were both just doing our thing. Like he was yeah. busy being Teddy Pen Freddie Pendergrass. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? That, Putting the, that all work and shit what he was doing. Like, man, <laughs> you needed your own space for that time. You yeah, had your shit to do. Right off on you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can sing now. Look, that's that's about to be his next move. Mm. Don't be surprised. Oh, for real. Don't for be real? surprised. He's about to drop a, a fusion. Nah, later Gators, it's man. gonna be a fusion thing where he's doing R and B and rap. It's tight. I see it happening for him. But you said Andretti and Gibbs, that's like the battle to your rib. What it makes is. this project so strong? Because it's 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 finally here. Mm. When we did that song, Fetty, with Alchemist in the studio, that was for Grand Theft Auto. And mm, yeah. that was like one of my dreams come true. To just be involved with with Rockstar and do something on Grand Theft Auto, just to have something on there, you know. So, yeah. uh, me and the homie just went in and we did one of those songs. Like Alchemist, he he suggested this too, because we were both in two. Like we were there, but like he was in the car and I was where I was at. Cause it's like you do your thing, I do mine. We just we we yeah. we make it work once we go in the boot. But Al was like, nah, won't you do two bars? You do two bars, and it made us have to trade off. let yeah. each other know what we were saying. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when I realized, like, I never wanted to be in a situation. I didn't think I, I wanted to be in that like like a situation like that. Like I'm like too cool for school, so it's like why why <laughs> rap, rap my rap? Why should I let you hear my rap? You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's like it's like with the homie, I wasn't thinking. That. None of that clicked in my body to where I felt like that. So I was like, "Yo, we have that. Let's let's do let's do it for real." You know. It's and where just, did it start? Just running into each other, mutual respect. Yeah, absolutely. Like just not doing sucker shit. Mm -hmm. You pay attention to, to to the people in your field, and everybody does something whack, and it's like seven yeah. of us who don't <laughs> fuck up. And then you remember, <laughs> you remember them. It's right. like, Yo, like Freddie Gibbs. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. Freddie Gibbs wouldn't do that. He yeah. wouldn't wear that. He wouldn't say that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, boom, let's line up and do songs because I'm safe doing records with you. Because I know you're not going to go and yeah. do some crazy shit and then I'm stapled to you because I'm the homie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So nah, it's a few of us. You yeah, remember you said you got, you got grief when you uh, gave Lil Yachty a little bit of shit. Come on, man. I love Lil Yachty. And everybody, yeah. yo, hip hop purists were like, man, Spiller, I'm considering unfollowing you, bro. Like... <laughs> How'd you, how'd you rap over Trap Called Quest Beats and then you tip your hat to Lil Yachty as a rapper, then you put him on a remix, because I put him on the Harry Fraud yeah. beat. I yeah. put him on a remix to, on a, uh, to the Marine EP. I put him on and it was like, nah, man, we're not fucking with that. And I'm like, nah, man, dude is solid. He yeah. can rap. Yeah. If you listening to it like for content in, 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 in his life, mm -hmm. based it on his life, yeah, he's not saying nothing for you in your 39-year-old life. Your forty-seven-year-old life. He's not saying that <laughs> for you, but you have to step into him. Cause yeah. though, how old is he? Twenty. Yeah, yeah. Like tw maybe, maybe I might yeah. be putting years like on. Twenty-one, him. I think. Maybe. All right. He's, yeah, he's, he's like finally yeah. twenty-one. He yeah. just turned twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, look at that, man. You got to think about that. Mm -hmm. And he's killing it. Right. Yeah. I yeah. think it's interesting because you explore a lot about like how you look at the game. You're you're so aware of what's going on in the culture, right? And I think that now you become all of a sudden now you're like a young OG, right? Yeah. And that's so gotta cool. be a trip. It's the and best. <laughs> it's the best though, because people who I don't even expect to have ever listened to me and and who are who are receiving a lot of acclaim and accolade right now, when they ask them, you know what I'm saying, yeah. they say my name. And it's like I remember like my first batch of interviews and when I was like first doing stuff and it's like they were asked like who's your influence and I was like, damn, this is my chance to shout out Pharrell and Snoop and shit like that and maybe they'll hear it. So they say that shit <laughs> and I, I'm hearing it and it's yeah. like, damn, you know. You said so like I, Uzi Vert, I think, was showing Yeah, man, that's the homie just I, I can't even I can't even think in how, how many how many times this happened? And just like playing festivals, I really, I really tried to, to um, some festivals I shy away from. Mm. But because I feel like my music, the music I make is not for that big of a crowd because mm. there's gonna be some listeners that only want to hear trap music and some people that only want to hear this. And I don't like to, to give my 110 for people that that didn't really come forward mm. but when i go to play those festivals i see kids like famous decks and shit like that and they're like nah homie like you the goat bro like i did this because of you do 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 i'm yeah. like that's crazy you know what i'm saying that's so all that all that is good man right. that's interesting so yeah. you stay you feel like you stay consistent making a certain type of musical content that isn't necessarily trying to go for that big festival e audience exactly you know because 
my people are solid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of artists right now got to share fans. Mm. So it's hard for them because if so some so and so drop an album, you got to share fans with <sighs> Migos, Cardi B, uh, anything, everything mainstream. Mm. Like they when so when you drop your project, it's like oh well we just cop this. This is what's going on right now. Mm. Where if you maintain your underground yeah. base, those people are like no matter what's coming out. They're like, we're going to, when you drop, we we fucking with it. Talib yeah. Kweli told me at, at a show one time, he's like, man, you like the best and the worst buddy because the people who listen to you don't want to hear shit else. <laughs> you know, and he's Talib Kweli. Yeah, so he's yeah, like yeah. on my show, like, man, like I'm fucking going hard trying to get these motherfuckers. And he's like, they like, wait, like, well, Spiller, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, yeah, well, you said, it's like that. You, you know? said on the fire in the clouds, underground never let you down. And it seems that yeah. it paid off. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they got me the rose. <laughs> There you go. Definitely, you know what I'm saying. I don't, I don't know how else to explain. Do you think it's built also because you overserve? Like you've given them so much content. It's a lot of music. Well, I figure that's what's gonna keep us on the road. Mm. You know, I put it out, and if they get it for free, they get it for free. But when they see I'm in their town, you can't bootleg that. You got to come up there twenty or thirty dollars, and then mm. once you're in there, you're gonna shop with us and buy shirts and this, that, and the third. And, and they they want to do that. Cause they know how much shit I just upload and say fuck it and give it away and shit. A lot of mainstream, like I got a lot of homies like super successful and 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 they give me verses all the time and then and, they, and I'm like putting the shit out, like putting the songs up for free, like unmixed, like <laughs> thanks for the verse, Rose. You know, I know somebody would have gave you like a hundred grand for this, right. but it's coming out tonight on fucking that piff. Like I'm putting that shit out, you know what I'm saying? So fucking they they appreciate that. Yeah. But they appreciate that. So they come through and, and they they spend they spend cash with me on site, you know? But speaking about the ind independent money, even on the new Fetty album, you talk about like how you counted your first million and didn't blink your eyes. Yeah. We could have blinked your eyes. Yeah. Nowadays yeah. you're Couldn't used believe to it. it. Couldn't believe it. But now it's How do you like, get used to a million dollars? Because you realize it's not a million dollars ain't really shit. Because once you get that million dollars and you keep saying, oh, I'm a millionaire, tomorrow you're not even a millionaire no more. That shit done. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And like yeah, soon as you not, start no, soon as you start getting the shit soon you start getting the shit that you can get because you 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 enter that bracket, mm. it's done for you. Yeah, so it's mm. all about the next one and then trying to get bigger because as you get in different circles and people invite you to different parties and you start sitting in different seats at games and shit and then you mm. see like you don't even have shit popping. It's like cuz cuz whoever invited you invited you to let you know <laughs> like it's not even really like, like you got a few more things to do yeah, but right. I, maybe I can help you or maybe you'll meet somebody in this skybox here that can probably yeah. help you get your shit going so but what, was yeah, that what Meek says like? levels yeah. yeah what was that first time like though you said you couldn't uh, I bought the Ferrari damn <laughs> when, once I knew it was legit and the money was there for sure I bought the Ferrari and then I was like, okay, I'm not a millionaire no more. And what stage uh -huh. was this in your career? When this you, was when you went to Warner Brothers, I guess. That, that this deal? was right. This was right off. Right after the road. Right after. Uh, it's like right after the road before we dropped um, the first Warner thing for sure. But we hadn't dropped a, a Warner project yeah. mm. yet. This was after Pilot Talk One and Two. Like mm. even though that shit, like the 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 funds and whatever was mishandled. Uh, royalty wise, like I nobody could take away the road. Mm. See, like you asked me about King Kong, and I still gotta do that to this day. So imagine in '09 and '10, like when we was doing like three yeah. in the night and shit like that, and picking it up. So, so you credit Pilot yeah. Talk, the whole that's probably the most meaningful series because that changed everything. I think um, everything hit right there. The, the top ten cover that happened. Mm. Um, Oh, MTV, freshman yeah, yeah, MTV did their uh, Fab Five or whatever for the year, like who was going to be the shit, and they, they picked me for that. <clears throat> so mm -hmm. that had my video, that had Life Under the Scope playing like every hour mm -hmm. and shit. So people just, you know, they latched on to, to what I was doing because it was, it was, it was of the era. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I was in, if I had been popping in 99, Mm. 2000 like that that was it for me that's why the yeah. first paper i got like even after i bought the Ferrari, i went back and bought uh old bentley or because mm. that was what i wanted 
Back then, when that hit, I was supposed to be rich. Then, yeah. When Jay Z took the picture in front of the fucking uh, <laughs> Bentley, yeah, I was like, I was, I was already supposed, to, I was on mm. that level in my mind already. So mm. like the first, that's why I went back to buy that car. I was mm. like, nah, I was supposed to have that shit. And you was running with yeah. no limit, right? Yeah, when you first got on. Yeah, that's absolutely. Insane. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I, I weighed my turn. So I never was, I never was on P bumper. I never was on P bumper. Like listen to this, da da da. I'm like, I'm here because of the homie. So it's the homie time. You know what I'm saying? And when when somebody asks me what 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 I can do, then that's my turn. You know. And it so happened like that's what C Murder was like. What 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 you do? You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? I got in the boot. Yeah. And then it was like, oh shit, yeah. That's yeah. how that went. Yeah. I never was on their bumpers about like, yo, I want to rap. What I used to pass out T-shirts. Oh, really? Yeah, like Trapped in Crime, mm. um, Ghetto, Postage, all that <laughs> shit. Yeah, I was passing them. I wasn't even tripping. But you have a lot of reverence for um, C Murder. I saw you uh, post on Instagram that you thought that he would have been home by now. Yeah, like, once like, they some, do you remember when that hit yeah. the way they were like, um, all this shit about the witnesses yeah, and all yeah, this yeah. tampered evidence, blah, blah, blah. I thought, I thought it was over with. Mm. I was like, he'll be here in a second in, in the lab. You know what I'm saying? That's why I posted. I was like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> right. I didn't want to get caught up in the hoopla about he's coming home, he's coming yeah, home, like yeah. everybody was doing. Yeah. I just was like, he is coming. I didn't want to say nothing. I was like, I just wait till he touched the ground. So then when, when they, and then it fizzled out. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, damn, they're not even bringing them up, like, like talking about the shit no mm -hmm. more. So that that was just me, just fucked up, cause I wanted somebody to DM me in the loop and tell me yeah. what was going it's on, you know, as right. far as the people who was going to see him and shit. So I'm like, well, shit, tell me what happened. And, and it worked out because now one of the homies uh, is gonna make like make it possible for me to fill this shit out to where I could go up there, cause mm -hmm. I hadn't. The last time I saw him was was when he was out at a point. Mm, right, like right. I don't even understand how that shit. How did that happen? Like he was, he was, he got out. He was out for like a second. He got out. Yeah. Fucking, I saw him. And I'm like, shit, it's on. You know what I'm saying? Like I see you tomorrow. Like it wasn't even no big deal. Yeah. I didn't even want to talk to him for long. I'm like I'm sure you got more shit to do. Yeah, yeah. And then the next thing you know, it's like, nah, he in jail. Yeah. So I, I don't know, man. Yeah. But you eventually had left that situation and got with Wayne. Yeah, man. yeah. Well, I left. To, uh, I was gonna do. I was doing my own thing. I left No Limit. I was like, well, I'm gonna start start my own label. But in the process of me doing that, I was like, I should get a record with Wayne. That's my partner, so I'll get a verse from him, and then that'll make my step into the okay. game easier. So you already but put the independent said, play together. But when I told yeah. when I told him that, he was like, Nah, nah, nah. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to do my own thing too, and I think you should be the one ah. who I do the shit with. You know what I'm saying? The like, for the young let's money do this and young money thing. Yeah. Blah blah. I'ma bring you to Miami. Like, come through. So I went to Miami, and we did like six records that day. And I was like, fuck it, yeah, let's do that shit. So when you put, what's it, where, where my bag at? Where the cash, where the cash, cash at? Yeah, with Remy. So you gonna yeah. wear the cash at to Fetty? Where yeah, the cash? Fetty, <laughs> shit, it's, it stay on my mind, it's important, bro. But where the cash, what important. were you thinking during that time? Like, did you think that was that was gonna be the thing that broke you through? Like, did you, you, know you believe what? for um, a moment that that was like gonna be your path? Yes, and you know how when you get in the line for a roller coaster mm -hmm. as a kid? <laughs> yeah. And you get too far to be like, you gonna look like a pussy. Like, oh, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool, yeah. I'm cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh man, this is like, because um, who like, did beat the runners? Bar. The runners like was so big. Yeah, and yeah. And that, that, yeah. that, that slow down that sample hook yeah. Sound, yeah. was like automatic. You have that, you have everything else. You know, you mm -hmm. know what's coming. So when I had that motherfucker, they brought me that beat. Yeah, I was like, damn, hand. this is just pretty much, here you go, you yeah, know? So yeah. I was like, man. So after I do that one, I'm gonna have to do like five more like that because that's how the game go. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? I was mix. already it's, thinking it's like that. It's a classic that. though, for sure. I hear it all the time. Sometime, well, it used to make me cringe. I really? would be in clubs and be like, "That's just how I know." <laughs> Cause that's how I know DJs don't know shit about me. Right, yeah, right. Because I'm like, they go to okay, that. somebody whispered to you that I'm here. I'm not even one of them rappers that give a fuck about shout outs yeah. right, and right. sparklers and shit like that. So you don't have to do that. And when they force themselves to do that shit, yeah. they dig a hole and realize they don't have anything in the computer except for that. Like you say, you're famous enough to get in for free. Right, but, but not famous. so famous for motherfuckers to keep bothering. Me. Absolutely. <laughs> Some the, the, the security yeah. outside, the bouncer, those motherfuckers, they know me. Right. It's like, nah, that's the homie. He cool as shit. Yeah. Let him in there. Let's get him in the section. Let's do this. But as far as the 
<laughs> the socialites yeah. <laughs> and the motherfuckers, the movers and shakers of the nightlife, yeah. they don't know, you know what I'm saying? They're right. like, we don't know that. He, he doesn't dye his hair. Who's that? You know what I'm saying? He yeah. can't dance and rap. They don't fucking know shit about me. You know what I'm saying? Instagram yeah. Followers, yeah. Dad, they don't know nothing yeah. until I like do some shit like walk to the car. Yeah. Mm. At three in the morning when they figure it out, it's like, oh shit, you know what? Well, next time, bro, let me know, man. We'll set you up. We'll have your pop right here. Like, oh man, I'm cool. There is no fucking next time. Yeah. Yeah. But how was it like when Where the Cash That did come out and it was well received? Yo, uh, I was like, oh shit, here yeah. we go. Because yeah. that's when I was doing the interviews. And I was like, now's my chance to get all my babe shit off and to fucking yeah, do yeah, all this. And, and I'll be yeah. able to build the world I want, you know what I'm saying? But I really couldn't. <clears throat> I really wasn't going to be able to. If if I stayed in that vein, I knew ultimately it was gonna have to be jet life for me to yeah. do mm -hmm. my shit. You know, you said it was no drama. Like how do you nah. how do you change these situations without? Well, because look at this. Any drama. No limit. You say it. You have a sound in your mind already. You hear what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Cash money. At that time, you say it. You know what it sound like. So they respected the fact that. Our thing was 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 them respecting my sound and wanting to fuck with me, but not even like how could it? Because I was it was it wasn't a, it would be it would be like that, you know, ultimately, because I didn't wanna fucking say what y'all was saying and then now here's my song and my shit sounding like this, as opposed to this being this way. And I'm so much for the team that it's like, don't trip, man. I don't even wanna disrupt what's going on. Like I'm going to do this one, yeah. you know, for sure. See? And Wayne was concerned. Like, he was like, bro, like, yeah, I was gonna say, think you about your fucking concept? family, dog. <laughs> like, you're about to be rich, man. Are you serious? I was like, look, bro, like, I got to do my own thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so it just so happened. It worked, you know? Yeah. I, I believe uh, if, you, if you roll a dice like that, that proves you have faith in yeah. a higher power in the universe and something will work out for you, you know? Otherwise, otherwise, like, it's all a lie. Like, if you roll the dice like that and you, you, you exhibit faith in something, like, it's going to have to give you the return. And when it does, that that makes an example for people because it's people tell me all the time, like, like when I first met Jay the Kiss, that was the first thing he told me. He was like, yeah, 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 you could rap and all that, but you were like, nah, I'ma just do my own yeah, thing. Exactly. And then you just did that shit. Yeah. I was like, yeah. But also you didn't look crazy yeah. then when later on it did, he did get it together and he put us out of Drake, he put us yeah. out of Nicki and yeah, that yeah, takes yeah. off. You still built a great career Yeah, on your own for terms. sure. Yeah, it worked. It worked because I mean the universe used me as an example. It could they, they it couldn't fail me because like I stepped I stepped outside of something that nobody would have did. Like mm -hmm. that was like the dream situation. Anybody would have jumped at that. Like I was the I was the artist, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like this is how it was gonna be, and I was like, let me, let me. I want to be that, but I just want to be that. On but do my you think army. that you consciously don't want to necessarily be the big mainstream star? Uh, what I want is I want the mainstream audience to get into what I'm doing, and then once they realize that it's actually the norm, because there's more of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They realize that and they stop being like scared because it's kind of like the cool table. It's like, well, if they doing this, I can't come to the table with this and my Walkman because we are, even though I don't like that, I'm just gonna do this because yeah. that's what it is because I gotta stay cool, you know? So once everybody get break out of that shit, then it's on. That's why I credit the internet to me coming up. Mm -hmm. I was pressing mixtapes up and putting them in stores and shit mm -hmm. like that, but People like, kind of like scared to do shit in front of people. They go home mm -hmm. and get on mm -hmm. fucking two dope boys and shit like that back then. <laughs> yeah, they're well, all hip hop and shit back yeah. in the day, and they would get they would just get my shit because nobody's standing over your shoulder. Yeah, and you There's in no the house judgment. smoking to my yeah. shit, and it's yeah. like, damn, this was actually good. Mm -hmm. But you were scared outside, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because niggas was gonna be, oh man, he left cash money, you gonna yeah. you didn't know really if it was cool or not. Right, you know, a lot of the industry did that. You know, that's why I fuck with who I fuck with. Because a lot of people was just like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I became a leper at one point. Because it's like that, shit yeah. was cracking for me. And then a lot of, and I saw all of y'all. And then it's like, oh no, nah, because if I fuck with him, then maybe Wayne will get mad. But you don't even know that yeah. it's cool. Gotcha. But thank you, pussy. We don't have to do nothing <laughs> ever. Right. 
ever, ever, ever. You know, yeah, and right. I see, and the best thing is that I see them all now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm and saying? Yeah, and it's cool. Yeah. I don't even have to say nothing because it's like their memories work too. They yeah. they know they <laughs> right, know what they, know they, they did. So right, it's like right. it's just better to just leave it how it is. Yeah. So I was gonna say, is that what drew you? After that to to Dame because he was kind of being ostracized too in a sense. That's why I thought with Dame I was saying I'm gonna roll the dice because I'm so 100. You can't you there's nothing in your body that'll allow you to do something false to me because I I gave it all up to you when I came through. That's just how that's just yeah. what I, that was my my idea. I'm like you know if I'm as silent as I am how can you. Unless you fucking like Gargamel or somebody <laughs> like, how can you do something right. fucked up to me if I come through like that? You know what right. I'm saying? So that's definitely why I was like, now nah, I wasn't even tripping off what, what, what stigma or anything anybody yeah. had like placed on them. I was like, nah, let's let's go. But eventually, yeah. Jet Life did take off, and you put out a string of mixtapes. Some of them people call classics. Yeah, man, that shit is crazy, yeah. bro. From the- it's Which crazy, was- and the, the the what's nuts is a lot of that stuff I recorded in my apartment. It's like it wasn't in a booth. It was in my 700 square foot joint, mm. like with a, uh, a upside down chair with <laughs> a mic taped around it, mm. with a sock and a wire hanger for the pop filter. Wow. wow. But it yeah. seems like as if you've been very consistent on what you've been doing. Like it feels like as if you're not the first, but one of the first to start doing the collaboration projects. Like for sure. How for fly? Sure. For and, sure. Know, of course. That shit fame. with me and Wiz fucking like that changed the world. Mm. And some people give me the credit I'm supposed to get, mm. but I don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm mm. saying? Because it's like the people who give, like, I don't really, con- I'm not concerned about what, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. if you give me, because I see the influence and in people, you know what I'm saying? And it changed the game. It changed how people right. smoke. It fucking, <laughs> yeah, it, it did. Yeah, it did. It did. It made, yeah. it, it made, it changed how people smoke, changed how people dress, it changed music. That's why a lot of those young dudes would give it up to me because they're yeah. like, man, you know, because when y'all did, da, 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 you know, mm-hmm. it's the, the shit. So everything. just uh, that mixtape era, um, it was really me just wanting to see myself on the blogs. Mm-hmm. I knew every mm-hmm. time I dropped a tape, I dropped a song, fucking on Smash or something was going to put yeah. up a picture of me. Yeah. So that was like another way to get an outfit get off exposure. because I wasn't with Young <laughs> Money no more. So it was no more double XL shit. Nothing was going on. <laughs> right, so I was, right. all my outfits were going to waste. <laughs> so <laughs> so we you would just do, we would do records. We yeah. would do records. Ron would take a picture outside my apartment, like in front of my door, like whatever fucking Show shit. We just Show got the on, drip. take the picture. <laughs> and fucking the next day, that shit would be everywhere. Like, fuck, yeah. it's on. We got them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the first one to wear the 10 Deep Letterman. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that kept that kept me fresh because all the clothing lines was like, spit the nine. Like, Here's a box. Here's a box. Yeah. Nobody even knew like what level it was on. It was fucking keeping me alive. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have any money to fucking go get that shit. Mm. But they was doing it because it's like, nah, he popping because he on the blogs every day. So we got to keep that shit on him. So what, fuck. What mixtape do you think, I guess, was the Watershed uh, project for you? Was it like Pilot Talk or... Dude, it was... New Jet City? People talk about New Jet City for sure that all the time. A lot they, of- want, they, want, they want me to do... They want that to be uh, on all streaming yeah. platforms. That's quietly like, that. like a Styles P collaboration. Yeah, it's a, album. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look, at that time, I'm going to tell you, Styles was walking down the street. <laughs> this is how I met Styles P. Mm. Styles P was walking down the street. Apparently, somebody told him that they had some weed for him. Uh, he had a show down here. He was pissed with the weed. All right. And I'm, I'm looking out the window because I hear an argument. And I'm li- I lived on Canal Street. Okay. So I hear an argument. And I'm playing the game. I'm like, yo, like, some dude from New York is about to beat the shit out of somebody. Like, you know what I'm saying? That like, sounds like Styles. About this fucking weed, you know? So, like, I look out the window and it's fucking Styles. I'm like, dog. Like, <laughs> I'm like, no shit. I'll be downstairs in like two seconds, dog. Like, don't do what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm here. don't trip. And I came downstairs. I was like, yo, like, these little dudes, like, probably don't want to fight. They probably got like so many guns. Yeah. Why don't you come upstairs? I got some weed upstairs. Like, fucking great meeting you. Yeah. Fucking Styles P. Like, I'll definitely wow. smoke some weed with you. Wow. Mm. So we smoked, and he was like, oh, this is the shit. And I was like, yo, 
I got like a big bag of this. Like, do you want to go to the studio? And we went to the studio and did a fucking tape that that that, that evening. Oh, wow. Jersey. Yeah, we did, we did, we did. Nah, we did rec. We did. <laughs> we dropped first twenty eight. Oh, but we okay. did so many records. That was only five songs that we put out. We did so many songs mm-hmm. that when I started dropping those other tapes, I was like, I got a Styles record already. I wasn't even calling the homie no more. I'm uh-huh. like, I got you already. Yeah. We did so many records that night. Mitchell. Yeah. I was gonna say, mentioning Styles, you tweeted about how him, you, and Mac Miller got stoned in the crew. Let me tell you, uh, Mac was in Miami in Circle House recording um, a tape that Pharrell did all the beats for. Mm-hmm. I wish it dropped. Oh, yeah, I don't know yeah, what yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. He did all the beats, so I went there to drop a verse for it, and Styles was there. I don't know if he rolled with me or Styles. Styles had to already be there. Mm-hmm. All right, so I started smoke. I had some fucking killer with me smoking with Styles. And then he's like, man, this little motherfucker is making millions of dollars in London and fucking uh, Germany and shit, my nigga. Like, if I was you, you know, and you, if I was in your shoes at the point you are in the game, my nigga, I would be everywhere picking up all that money, son. Yeah. I'm like, dog, I don't want to fly that long. And right. when I went to Amsterdam, like, they didn't have ketchup. Like, mm. they didn't have the real ketchup, <laughs> like, that I wanted. No, mm. the Dominican Republic didn't have the real ketchup. Jamaica didn't have the real ketchup. Mm. Like, well, I guess it's real for them, but they didn't have Heinz. <laughs> gotcha. You know, they didn't have ketchup. Right, right. In Amsterdam, the only thing that I really could find to eat was Burger King, mm. to where I didn't feel like I was rolling the dice. Okay. And a lot of the coffee shops let me know, tag me, and, and let me know where the real ones were because we hit a few potholes mm. picking up. That's a good pun there. We hit a few yeah. potholes. <laughs> we hit a few That's potholes trying to find some quality, <laughs> trying to find some quality smoke out there. And right. I was shocked at that. Mm. So I just figured let's just work twice as hard at home and make the same money and I can have ketchup in my own weed, mm. you know. But they are making millions of dollars over there. Right. So we'll come up with something. Before I retire, I'll do some type of overseas run. You know what I'm saying? So that whole power was you and Mac was just good energy. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Styles was telling me, like, Styles told me to pack my own ketchup and have the chick with me stuff the weed <laughs> inside of her body. <laughs> and um, he was saying just have her hoop it. Right. <laughs> so that, that was a cool little thing he came up with. That was tight. And me and Mac was talking about that shit forever. Mm. Mac was like, Mac was like, dude, like, I, Mac thought I was scared. Mm. Like, because of how Styles was talking. Right. He was like, bro, like, that was fucking Styles P. I'm like, nah, that's, <laughs> I'm like, he cool. That's just how he sound. Like, don't, don't worry. And on Freddie dedicated it. Bundy and Sincere to him. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. Without even, without knowing, like, we said what we said, cause that's how we feel. And then like I saw a write up and it was like, I think Pitchfork, and yeah. I'm thankful for it. You know, Pitchfork was like, the, the tribute to Mac Miller was touching. Mm. And I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't contrived, mm. that was just, you know. Right. Cause those, I did my verse in New Orleans and Freddie is in LA recording. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? We mm. just did what we did, yeah. How are you dealing with that? Like I know we, we did. It's fucking crazy because I was, I was talking to him that night. Oh wow! Like fucking the last tweets from from his account was to mine. Yeah, and he because I saw him say he was ready to start. He couldn't wait to go on tour. Yeah, so I was like, fuck, you know, start start tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? I I come out with you, and he was like, yeah, let's just start going two months early and doing sound check. So we were just cracking jokes and talking shit, and fucking the next day, I was over the homies smoking, and he was just playing music on uh on the surround sound. Yeah. Just playing various artists. And then I noticed, like, the next four songs he played was Mac Miller. So we were smoking, I was like, what the fuck? Something happened to the homie? Like, why you did? Like, why are you playing that many songs? And he was like, oh, dang. He was like, yeah, fucking he died. Like, I thought you knew that shit. I'm like, no. Mm. Fuck no. Like, right mm. then. You know, mm. like, as soon as he saw it, he played, like, four records. We just was smoking in the house. And I, the first one, I wasn't tripping. Yeah. But once he played, like, that many, I'm like, I made a joke because I say that about MTV all the time. Yeah. Whenever I see two men in somebody, I always say that. I was like, oh, shit, call him and make sure he all right. They right. just played five Wale yeah. videos. Make sure Wale is okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's just a joke. But fucking, boom, that shit was the real deal. I yeah. saw that you had a performance and you were playing Money Shot. And it was hard yeah, for you to get for, through it. Yeah, I, I'm I'm wondering if 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 I'm really gonna be able to keep that in the show because mm-hmm. I haven't been able to get my verse out yet. 
mm. because um, the, the 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 crowd reaction, like they feel the way, and then even though I think I have my feelings in check because like we just did it last night, you know what mm. I'm saying? Like it, it happens all over again. I'm Damn. just like, well, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? But you know that that record was tight because he did he did the beat. All oh, right. Yeah, I was like, yo, just jump on, jump on one of these, right? He's like, nah, like let me, let me give you a beat, wow. let me give you the beat too. Yeah, he always was hit me about doing like a lot of shit. I'm glad, I'm glad that that I took the opportunities whenever, cause whenever he hit me, like yo, cause he he had a lot of respect for me, like as an OG yeah, in the yeah. game, because when he was like 16, I was playing him all the instrumentals, like. Kid Frost mm. and fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like all <laughs> the shit, like you too. rap over this, rap over this. Mm -hmm. You should do this, do this, do mm -hmm. this. So Challenge fucking, him. he always fucked with me, you know. And no matter how far he got, because mm. he fucking went yeah. superstar status and still was like, nah, dog, spit it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I want to do this. I'd be honored if this, you know. So um, I think about him a lot, and that's why you know my label we call it the Never Die Corporation because mm -hmm. like you know. I already lost a gang of friends before shit even started working mm -hmm. for me anyway. Yeah. So I kind of had to come into it with the mindset that they didn't really die right. and I'm not bummed and I'm gone and we all doing the same shit at the same time. You know what right. I'm saying? So, Makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. it's cool. And speaking of, um, you know, reverence you have for people, like Pharrell, I saw you tweeted that, you know, when you listen to one of his songs off his album, you can do it cry. too. You can do it too. Yeah, bruh, come on. That song <laughs> made me figure none of this shit was going to happen for me. Like, it was a positive song. Yeah. But I was like, nah, dog, that's easy for you to say, Pharrell, because you in this fucking fandom right now. <laughs> you just landed this fucking private jet, you know what I'm saying? You got ostrich babes, all this shit you rapping about, you have this shit. Right. So you saying I can do it too, man, but that's like Michael Jordan telling, you know what I'm saying? Saying right. that shit at the basketball camp to kids who really can't do that shit too, but they paid their fucking $17,000, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, nah, man, I don't know if I could do it. In my apartment, like I don't know if it's gonna shake, bro. Have that shit would make that? me cry. Yeah, I told him that like oh, yeah? first, like the first time we lined up in the studio to do shit. Mm. Yeah, I was like, you can do it too. Is my favorite one, but I was like, it also like was was like keeping me in the dumps at mm -hmm. the same time because like I would listen to it and I'm just like, look at where I'm at. Right. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He's rapping like from the back of the fandom. <laughs> Literally. Nah. That's, yeah. That, yeah. For sure. You know. So. But what makes you such a good collaborator, man? Because on this project, on Fetty, you got produced entirely by Alchemist. Yeah, I love to lock in with one producer. Right. Because mm -hmm. we both, then we have a chance to get all our shit out the way. Mm -hmm. Like, one verse might be something about bitches I might be rapping. <laughs> something I might say some shit. Like, one verse might just be all about cars. But I'm getting all my facets of my me out. Mm -hmm. The producer, if you only just did one beat on the tape, However you felt that day, that's what you got off. I don't know if your girl was arguing with you and you was just making the fucking <laughs> beat like that. You know, I don't know what happened. But if we do seven of them, yeah. then we got this one. We got the dead was good. We got all that shit in the project. So you got your shit off too. Right. So, so that's what I like about it. So what's that. it like working with Crazy Alchemist and has it changed Bro, Alchemist years? is... He's a mad scientist, Do you know... He? You play Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> of course. Dr. Robotnik? Yeah. That dude that comes out at the... That dude, that's... <laughs> That's him, bro. That's Alchemist, bro. Alchemist is one of the weirdest, but 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 easy to be around and not dangerous. Mm. He's weird. That's a good, that's interesting. You understand? Yeah. 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 Like his, not, his walls, yeah. his walls are vinyl. Mm. Everything is just records. Everything is records. And he'll take, he'll make a beat out of. It'll take 19 records to make that beat. Mm. Because this record had, uh, and he wanted that. Wow. That's gone. Oh, <laughs> all right, got that. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's just it's so like that's a Frankenstein kind that's of. That's crazy. And I remember one time working with him when we were doing when we did Carrollton Heist. I mm. remember uh, looking at the covers, just mm. like like vinyl. I'm like this one. Like put this on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or like reading names, right. like. Play Honey Baby, you shot me. 
play that record out and he'll throw that one on and like yeah this is it right here we'll just get something out there make beat. something out of it shit yeah man he gave me one beat one day I have it in my email still it's 20 minutes <laughs> and it changes tempos <laughs> four times <laughs> a 20 minute beat yeah oh yeah and it's it's called trip to Russia or something like that some kind of Russian thing but it's it's crazy and, and that's like the bizarre I wrote thing. I wrote like nine different songs of it. I haven't really <laughs> I haven't honed in on one thing so yet. with the tracks on Freddie do you kind of let him just paint the landscape and then you and Freddie yeah he said yeah it? yeah I'm like just give me mine I was like Al give me give me my beats give me the ones that are for me and he was like cool he's like I have to make those I'm like yeah cool so mm -hmm. boom and fucking you talking about him so he like by the time he hung up the phone, I had an email. <laughs> you know, I had like four already. So wow. while I'm writing it, then here come the rest of them. Wow. So yeah. What does he mean when he has to make it for you? Like, what do you think he does for you to make sit it sit down different? and look at album covers? <laughs> and probably like probably was just looking. Oh, there's a Cadillac on this one. He'll probably fuck with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We had to. That's that's a whole separate. I want another chair. We got to bring Al out here, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Involve me in that one, and let's that's, that's ask him that. So what about the other guy, Harry Fraud, man? Because y'all guys make magic together. Yeah, we like that. We do shit in one day, too. Mm. We did, uh, shit, cigarette boats. We did that in a day, and people people went crazy when it dropped. And I just, I just put a video out for 67 Turbo Jet. That was, like, people's favorite record mm. from there, and... The, the numbers moving so fast it's like it's a new song mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and I saw people say that like man thank you for putting out a video four years later like <laughs> but we still we still needed right. it you know what I'm saying so so it's cool Lincoln with Harry is always the shit cause he have he leaves space yeah some people rely on the beat to carry them and they need so much shit hmm. but also a super producer can do that shit with like very bad sounds because he knows who he's working with. Mm -hmm. He'll know what you'll do to fill in the space. He'll know how many times, like how he could use a symbol and he might not need to use it for another eight bars because of the way you rap, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And that's what somebody like Harry Fraud or Alchemist mean when they're like, let me make them for you. Right. And they make them for you, like that's the shit because people think I rap off beat a lot. Like people who have not caught on to it yet Mm. They definitely, they, I've seen, like, he doesn't rhyme. <laughs> it's not on beat. Like, what drum is he rapping mm -hmm. to? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I might not be rapping to the drum. I probably might be rapping to the flute in the mm -hmm. beat or something, mm -hmm. but it's right on the time mm -hmm. for it or something, you know? But, hey. It works. Yeah, it works for me. <laughs> right. It works for me, and it works for a select few. But you also told me one time, you said that you, you're dropping all this new shit not to impress them. And you're doing it to maintain your steady clientele. What do you mean by them? What do you mean by because that? Because shit starts like, okay, with the exception of with the exception of this joint, because we're overdue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And pitchfork. When I do shit, I see people who who wasn't fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Say shit. And it's just because other people are saying it. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, if we don't post this, we're gonna look out of touch because so and so did it. But it's like I know you don't really even fuck with it. Like mm. I'm not doing I'm not doing that shit for you to fuck with it. Like when I did the shit with Lex Luger mm. and when I do shit with Ada Way Mafia and shit, it's like and they're like, oh, he's rapping on fast like he's he's now he's rapping on fast reviews, like he's doing this, like, nah, I'm doing what I'm doing. Like that had nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's just what I that's just what I wanna do right. at the moment. I'm just putting this shit out, you know. Also, I tweeted that I'm the same way every day. That's an advantage and a hindrance at the same time. Yeah. What did you mean? Because, I mean, with the same thing. Like, I just might not do some shit because I don't like it. I don't really fuck with, with, with y'all's organization. And even though, like, this might help me if I come and do this, or if I come to this party, if I do this, I might meet so-and-so. I'm not, I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'm the same way every day. So, like, that helps me. Because it's people people trust you when you're the same way every day. Mm -hmm. They know that they can count on you. Yeah. But it also fucks me up because it's opportunities and shit that I'm like, nah, I'm not fucking I don't wanna do that. Mm. Oh, I don't wanna do that record. I don't you know, I don't fuck with him. I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I don't like what they doing, right. so I don't wanna put my verse on that. I don't want that, you know. But it seems like you work with everybody, like See, that's what it seemed like. I work with everybody. Like, if you look at it, I work with the originators of each facet, every style. Like, mm. Future is my buddy. Now, 
when it went how it went and people realized that was a path to success, I'm gonna have, let me change and try to do this. And they use his patterns and all that shit to mm. get on. I'm not doing the song with them. Mm. Like, because mm. that's fake. I can't fuck with that. Cause dude was the one where it came from. So I can't fuck with nothing else. Wrong. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's, that's, that's the way I feel about that mm. shit. That's why I feel like I got the cosign and whenever mm. the people I fuck with, like when they tripped on Yachty, I'm like, yo fam, like you, I'm looking in your picture on Instagram and you telling me that I shouldn't have did this and your hair, you have red cornrows. <laughs> so, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. Right. You, why are you doing what you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I fuck with homie. I also fuck with young artist uh, Kaz. You're on his record this year. That was that was a, that yeah, was a, that's that was a heart. dope feature. That's my heart. The younger ones, really, because it's so easy for them to take the bait and do the other shit. Like, I thought I was really taking the stand in fucking 2008, 2009, like, just not having fucking auto-tune on my voice and shit. I was like, yeah, I'm, I am fucking from 1988 with this shit. Like, this is real rap right here. But now, for a, kid, my voice. for a kid to come out and just rap, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you know, you have nothing going but a backwards hat and a Figaro chain, my nigga. It's going to be tough <laughs> right. for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lil Pump bash the windows out on the Rolls Royce in his video. Yeah. It's going to be hard for you, bro. You got yeah, to yeah. do something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Set yeah. your house on fire <laughs> or do something. You know what I'm saying? These kids destroying the shit they working right. for. So for Kyle to, eat, for, to make moves like that yeah. and be normal, I'm like, damn, yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure. Who do you yeah. want to work with, though? Like, I guess that you haven't. Uh, is Kanye back? <laughs> <laughs> you never did anything with Kanye? Nah, never. And you know what, man? He's like, he spoke on me in a rap that was tight. Like, name dropped me once, and like, and fucking Big Sean would tell me, like, yo, man, like, dude, fuck with you, you know? But yeah, that'd be cool to get like one of them, one of them uh, Ralph Lauren store mm. style beats when him and the homies used to be on Michigan Street mm. shopping. Like, Early you get one of those joints, mm. that'd be fucking nuts. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, um, Everybody who I fucking really love, they damn near family with me now. Like, yeah. like Raekwon, Snoop, like these are the people that I, I wanted to, 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 to do shit with, and I did it. So mm -hmm. at this point, I'm just um, outside of him. I'm just waiting to see like whoever else come out that's staying on the same path, mm -hmm. you know, that's not taking the bait. And whatever I could do for them, you know, at this point I'm down to do because I didn't even know I was at that point yeah. where I'm like, you know, but they telling me, so yeah. for sure. I remember I'm, you said with, that. You said somewhere that Snoop with the Power Talk, he said you the verse back faster than anybody. Yeah, I got that oh. shit back, like, I got it back that <laughs> night. Mm. And now I, I couldn't believe that shit because I'm like, Snoop could have been doing a movie or uh, doing something, but he was like, nah. Nah, this off for nephew, and then we gonna finish reading the script. And he just did what he had to do and got that shit to me that night. That was fucking madness because of who it was. A lot of people in the game who I fuck with, um, because I'm the same way every day, they can't front on me. So, mm. like, two chains. But I can call two chains right now. Give put a verse on this, and he joint. know, and he knows I'm gonna put this shit out tomorrow. You know right. what I'm saying? Like he know, he know we not about to call him. What's up with the, like? Who's your, who's Mixed your, down. who's your thing? Like, let's get all your, all your, your paperwork. Stems. Let's get you these mechanicals and shit. He know, like, man, this dude is just gonna put this shit out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But fuck. But you also judge artists that th how quick they do send a verse yeah. back to you. Oh right? yeah, because mm -hmm. I, then I, I don't, I never ask you again. If it, mm -hmm. if it take a minute. You really don't never even have to do it. Mm. If I don't get it, like, cause if you send me a record, I know I'm gonna do it. If I'm gonna do it, I did it that night or the next day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Cause I wanna do it. Those Amazon Prime if it's verses. Ja if it's work for you, <laughs> if I sent it to you and it, you you and, and you uh, approach it as work, yeah. don't right. worry about it. You know right. what I'm saying? I don't get, I'm not gonna call you again. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. That's the same. I'm the same way every day, and it's, it's a good thing and a hindrance. Yeah. My friend Nigel. Nigel always tell me all the time about um, a story, like something with, with Puff and R. Kelly, how bad he needed to get this verse. And Woody had to like fly to Chicago like twice and wait for dude mm -hmm. to finish playing basketball and shit to oh, go, yeah, to, yeah. To, go to lay this thing down. But he needed to get that for, and he is Puff Daddy, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But at one point he was like, nah, this R. Kelly, 
fuck that I'm Puff Daddy because R. Kelly, at this point, I need this verse. And then we'll get greater later, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But me, I would have been like, you playing basketball? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I flew in, you playing basketball. I'm here. You know what, dog? Continue Play and send me a jersey when you get drafted. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to stand in the way of you getting to the fucking NBA, right. dog. I just know you had to play tonight. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just go back to the fucking New York. You know what I'm right. saying? And my Sean John fucking below. should have never let you right. be I'm out. independent success. I just rolled should've out. should have never That's let you it. be independent success. Yeah, right? you know what? They shouldn't have. Not if they wanted me to just start working with people just for nothing. But nah, man. If you like, you do bum ass shit. I don't has has it changed shit. the perception of what independent is nowadays? And like, do you do you feel like you're a forefront at, of of the original? What that absolutely, means? Absolutely, absolutely. Because right now, it's microwave. Um, but it's it's very rare that that once the microwave, once they push the button, then they get into the system with with the big wigs instead of maintaining what made them reach out in the first place. So the first the first group, first facet that realizes that is really the one that's going to win. Um because they reach independently. Like you you if you a SoundCloud rapper, I don't mm-hmm. want to say that, but that's what they that's what that's so what they saying to them now. Music, yeah. But break you do that. And then you maintain, you realize you got millions and millions of, of people, you know what I'm saying, fucking with that music. Now imagine if they only, they only had to get it through you through SoundCloud. Now you make sure they only got to get it through you any other way, as opposed to you take this partnership, this this big deal, uh, give up all your merchandise and all this shit with, with this major, and then you could have did all of that shit because the people was already with you. They just had no way to get it. Once you fucking figure out how to get it on these streaming platforms and all that, and it's just you, mm. you know, like the masterpiece shit. Just now, like every, they would be mad. It, they're making money, but they would be out of control. Yeah. Like mm. motherfuckers, like some of them might try to take over the country <laughs> or something. If they realize they're independent, they start picking up that independent machine money just like that. It'd yeah. be mad. I mean, I'd like to see it. It'd be cool. You said that on a Pilot Talk album, like how you refused the major and you stayed real and you kept your promise. Yeah, because on the tapes, I always said that I wouldn't, I wouldn't let a situation change me. And with even before we got the Warner thing to pop, labels were trying and people were were trying to help me and bring me songs. And it's like, look, there's hooks already on this. You lay the verses on this, and this shit's it's just going, you know, we're going to bring this to the label, bop, 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 you know, it'll go. And I just, I was, I would never want to do that because Fast Times at Ridgemont Fly, Super Tech Mobile, all these tapes that I was recording in the closet that built me that big following, those people were going to be upset. Like, when that record dropped, like, it wasn't, the, the, the transfer wasn't going to happen. Mm. If I brought a million people to this label, you know what I'm saying, that I, that I built through Underground, Soon as we drop this popcorn record, we don't have them no more. Mm-hmm. So, so you kind of bought a lemon. I'm telling you <laughs> that you you bought a lemon if we right. do this because they don't want it. They don't want to see me do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's Speaking how I think. Yeah. That's what I you know. Speaking of lemon and whips and stuff, the low rider thing you're into. Yeah, man. man. Why don't you on. just move to Cali, man? You're bringing the nah, California because last I'm trying. You know what I want to do, man? Because look, look at what it did there. You get killed. For what color you have on out there. The eighties it was out of control. Late seventies, eighties, nineties out of control. Low riding had people like, all right, I like cars, you like cars too. So I can't shoot you Sunday. <laughs> you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, pull your car up to mine, we'll see who cars high, high the highest and I won like that. I feel better like that. Mm-hmm. I'll leave you alive to embarrass you every weekend. We just go out there and do this with the car. So they also make you have something to hustle for because it shit is a pricey hobby. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you also got to be about your business too and be putting some money away if you want to be cool at that shit. So as that catches on and it spreads out here, that, that whole thing, you know, people putting shit aside, and riding and everybody hanging out and shit. That's just what I want to bring here because we definitely need it. I don't know if y'all watch the news. How long y'all been down here? A couple of hours. All right, well, stick around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we need some low riding and shit out here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, And I just love cars. But you've taken it to, yeah. you said you have such an amazing yeah. collection at this point. It's, it's insane. Yeah, I don't know. I got like 
I don't know, 35 wow. cars or something. You drive them all? I start them. <laughs> some of them I can't, some of them like so blacked in by other cars. It's Man. like, fuck it. I just at least make sure that the radio and shit still working. And I crib? get it out when I get it. I keep them at every, yo, know, my house, my apartment, the studio, the office, at Man. my friends' houses. Everybody in here <laughs> has a car for me at their house. <laughs> my mama have shit in the backyard. Wow. Yeah, it's like I thought, that. I thought it was funny you gave uh, Alvin a Camaro from the Saints a gift, a Rolex. Yeah. But she was like, yeah, it's cool. You know, I appreciate what you're doing. But I don't actually go to the games. I just pull up in the low rider with my friends and we watch <laughs> yeah, the games. Yeah, we watch the shit at the office <laughs> on the fucking on well, the you projector. you can go to the game, wow. person. Yeah, yo, they hit me and they was like, man, like the, uh, somebody from the organization was like, yo, we, we didn't know. You know, let's, <laughs> let's hook you up with some sweet tickets and shit like that. You know, maybe we'll, we'll go. But, I mean, I can't smoke in there and shit. <laughs> like, I can't really... Chill, yeah. Right. Like you could chill at your house watching the game. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, they kicking ass, man. Did, yeah. did you see him yesterday? Hmm. Everybody wants a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody on that motherfucker want a Rolex. The center want a Rolex. Like, damn, they are really. That's what you gotta do. And I saw YG. I saw YG gave one of them boys from the round okay. a yeah. chain. He ducked me on that dating bet too. I told him to put a set of wheels up <laughs> on that game. And I saw you had the green dot on your Instagram. You was active, Jack. You saw that. <laughs> you ducked that. You knew what was going to happen. And the following week, he gave somebody some diamonds. So maybe that get, maybe that'll get y'all where y'all got to be, you know what I'm saying? But I we had that. already shot the BB gun. We had already gave the homie the Rolex, You got to be on a coach's staff yeah. or something, man. Yo, man. <sighs> Big money yet over here. I like that. <laughs> I like that man. That might be that might be my next move, man. I don't, you know what? Maybe I'm not gonna do that overseas run. Maybe I'm just gonna start carrying a clipboard and have one of them little headsets, man. That might be what I do, man. Nah, I'm just gonna be the guy up top. You know, whenever they cut up there and he's like, his wife is going crazy, like dressed with Saint shit. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be right there just chilling. Like, oh yeah, yeah. While they bumping Fetty. Yeah, psh, while they bumping Fetty, you, you better go. believe it. Yeah. I have a question. Um, was you and Freddie Gibbs' first collaboration the Scotty Pippen record? Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, at Alchemist Crib. Oh, that was Alchemist Crib. Yeah. I, after I laid the verse, I was like, man, Freddie Gibbs. Like, for sure, for sure, for sure. And I called him. He was like, yeah, I'm going to come over there and lay yeah. that shit. Yeah. I feel like we're going to get a, some yeah. kind of sequel. He went that. crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, no lie. He, he kind of ate you Yo, on that. he went nuts. And like, because, yo, I sent him the verse. I'm like, yo, <laughs> come get on this. I'm like, dude, come come through and get on this. And I might have put, I don't even know how long my verse was. I'm like, here you go. You know what I'm saying? So he sent me the verse back. All right? He didn't do, when I was there, he was like, <laughs> I'm gonna do it like like I'm gonna I'm gonna write it out. So I should have knew something. <laughs> I should have known like when when it goes when it go. That's that was already how much I did. So gotcha. you did this and had more to go. Uh, so I'm like, oh shit. So when I landed like wherever my next spot was and they sent that shit to me, it was fucking 72 <laughs> bars of fire. I'm like, what well, shit. It's cool, man. Yeah, you know, so sometimes sometimes people say shit mm -hmm. on Twitter like, "Yo, man," I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was me. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word I up. think we're gonna get a sequel though. Yeah, hope nah, so. it's yeah, good, man. That's 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 a good thing, man. We got that. That's the shit. That's mm -hmm. shit. You like that? You like to 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 be pushed? You know? Yeah. That's the way. And it feels like you guys are definitely even Fucking killed. Right. We work the though. same way me and Wiz work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he about to come out here in a couple of days too. We gonna knock um knock out two thousand nine, mm -hmm. and uh, trying to get it out for uh, for holiday. Okay, so that's yeah. We already put out four projects this year. Yeah, I know. But oh, do it's you five? Excuse do me. Do you remember when I used to? I used to do them every month. <laughs> so it was twelve projects. Every year for like, however, until they gave me, I know until they did the Double XL. When I got that cover, I was like, all right, that's why I did that. <laughs> yeah. Like, for sure, that's why I did that. And I tell people that all the time. I'm like, you should probably try to put out a tape every month. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know how crazy that is. It shouldn't be if you yeah. rap because the shit's coming out of your body. You know what I'm saying? So just fucking do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Put out the tape every month. And the people who slept on you in January, by August, they'd be like, all right, let me try. Yeah. That's yeah. how I came up on Max B, and that's my favorite rapper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just was like, well, shit, I seen this dude picture a couple times like on the same blogs where I'm checking for myself at. So I'm like... I'm so like, oh, that was you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know. It. Yeah, and then See, after that, you go back and you do the due diligence and you get all the other shit. So you don't believe in oversaturation as a, as a theory? No, 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 no. I don't really, 
not in music. Mm. I don't really understand. Like maybe in like clothes <laughs> or like uh, movie movie franchises. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying. I don't want like fucking like they did right with Boys in the Hood. They didn't need Boys in the Hood too. Right. Like, Fucking Trey's revenge, you know what I'm saying? He's so pissed about Ricky dying and right. he came back and he fucking joined the gang and you know, so none, none of that. We, you we know, there's no way it's that. Yeah, but with music, with music, man, there's no way you could oversaturate because it's drugs. Mm. If you smoke weed, when you gonna say, nah, dude, don't leave me another pound of OG Kush. I don't need it. You right. know what I'm saying? You smoke weed. There will be a time when you gonna roll that weed up that they left you. Even that shit stacked up the hill, mm. you gonna smoke it eventually. So mm. with music, like that shit is drugs. Like you do better to just keep going. If people like it, like if they like that song, they'll roll with the next joint. Mm. You know, like I like oldies. I like shit from like like doo -wop, the doo wop era. Mm. And and every time I do research and like start getting records and shit, as soon as I find one artist, like just in looking like users also liked uh maybe they also bought and then I just fucking I do like it. And one, then man. I'm lost like fucking hours and yeah. hours and hours and hours just gone. And then when I get in the car and pull up on the homies, I got mm. Fucking days worth of music that they don't know shit about. What was about. the one I saw you was in a, it was in the car with your girl? You was listening to a, a, a more rarer style of six joint. It was uh, Payback is a Dog. Payback is a Dog. Come on, man. That's my favorite song. <laughs> I named the car. I got a 57 Bel Air. That's the name of that car. Yeah, Payback is a Dog. Fucking right. That's, man, that's a hard song. <laughs> Damn. Just hearing the title. Isn't Payback that crazy? Is a dog. Back then. Super true. It's not You Are Everything or like the mm, big hits. It's mm, like mm, Payback mm, is mm. a Dog. Stream that on title. Come on. Yo, <laughs> check it out. Check it out. Don't sample it and rap over it. Just listen to the regular joint. And vibe out. Yeah. Then get back to Fetty. Yeah, for sure. Word up. Well, congrats, Spitter, man. Come on, Thank man. you, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Special, Yo, man. let me tell you something. Right, this shit was so it. tight, I didn't even like the joint. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I did not like the joint. <laughs> Nothing time. happened to where I was like, up. man, you know what, man? Like, I'm about to just fire up on these niggas. Like, that was, I can't believe that hey, shit. Because I, I, we didn't need it to make to make it to be make, like this. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Good. So I just smoked this motherfucker on the ride home. But that's so and tight. And we just flew down to see you. We about to get back on the plane. And go get back out of here. here. Absolutely. Yes. We flew in this one. We we on a six p.m. flight. We going out tonight, man. We just came here to see you. I am at that level of music. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I thought for sure like y'all was down here to wow. go like stack, fucking. You you up. Solange was doing a sidewalk, <laughs> fucking reading or something out yeah, here. Y'all was down here for that shit. He what the fuck? Together. We took the PJ. Come on. Nah, nah. We took Delta. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm touched. But we here though for you. Delta I'm touched. Yo, that's hard. big. Damn. And I'm gonna. Like I'm time, going to the man. studio. I'm gonna have to go to the studio. I gotta go do some raps. Like this is this is like how I know. This is how I how I keep score. Like outside of like jewelry and stuff. Like Musa, my manager's always like, yo, fucking look at this. Fucking you know what I'm saying? Like hit me with this big ass braces. Like it's yeah. stuff that I get that I don't even like remember because yeah. I don't I don't even really know how to do that. Mm. But you do it like it to keep score yeah. and yeah. let you know where you at. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, this is definitely point. a score. This is like a chain. Appreciate it. For man. sure. Bring for the sure. Rolex to. Yeah, New York. well, yeah, man. Get us some touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> you do five touchdowns before. You, what was that? Five before the half or some yeah. shit? You do some shit like that. We can find you a Rolex. We'll figure worry. it out. Yeah, we got you, dog. Let's do it. Yeah, currency, man. Right, right, right on the podcast. Damn, that was tight. <laughs>